Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt, and we're here with Hibiscus. I'm Grant. I'm the singer. I'm Kyle. I'm the guitar player. I'm Dylan. I'm the second guitar player. I'm Cooper. I'm the drummer. I'm Christian. I play bass. So I'm going to ask about the band name, Hibiscus. My first vibes, it's like a juicy, sweet goodness. <laughs> kind of like a big, big like a couch cushion type stuff. Um, you know, the Hibiscus plant. Kind of groovy. Yeah. Definitely a warm blanket, you know. Yeah, yeah, I get that vibe, especially from the music. You guys are definitely, like, very groovy. Um, I don't know. For some reason, the word juicy comes to mind when it's just, like, you guys playing. Is that close? Is that kind of the vibe you're trying to put out there? I, I, the I think you're on the money. I prefer, <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer moist, but it's, <laughs> juicy's fine. Moist blanket. <laughs> I love the energy, man. You guys definitely, what was getting me moist was the dance moves. It was getting me moist. It was making me laugh, man. I was having kind of a hard time. You, you were getting into it there, and I appreciate that. I've seen you guys play live. You know, Burp, this is a band that we've played with, um, you know, out, out together. But yeah, you guys are a fun. You have a fun thing going. It's, it, it's a it's a fun thing to do. That's for sure. It's dancing. Yeah, you guys have a lot of energy when you're playing. I mean, it's. I mean, you're talented musicians, and you sound great. So I mean, for sure. But like getting to actually watch it happen live. It's a trip, man. Like, all of you kind of got your thing going on. Um, so we appreciate you all making the trip out here. Local Tampa, yeah. man. So it was Thank close you. by for you. But, man, so so appreciate you guys doing your thing. Appreciate you. This is awesome. It's definitely got that Tampa vibes, the, the beach type of thing. What's some of your inspiration for your music? I know you're playing, like, a couple covers. I think I heard some, like, Doors and stuff when you guys are warming up. Um, you know, what, what inspires you? Like, what, where, where are you coming from when you make the music? I mean, we're all pretty diff uh like differently all inspired by different things you know so it's kind of it's kind of weird it's like we all come together and do stuff that's completely different than what we actually like you know i think um, it's, it, it's definitely like the the doors black sabbath chili peppers nirvana I, I i feel like you got to say nirvana i i, I don't want to say nirvana but i'm going to say nirvana it's a lot of bands um, <laughs> and van halen we're all just influenced by different <laughs> bands just completely different bands that we like. But, you know, it, it is that classic rock, that, that grunge, you know, you got to say Nirvana. Like, you have the new, that like, that post-grunge sound, but the rock and roll. I think a great thing in, like, the community here in Tampa is there is a lot of, like, classic music being played with, um, you know, main singer, drummer, bass guitar player, you know, two, two different guitars. So you do get that full band effect. You know, it's definitely not digital you know you guys definitely you know do it live you have a lot of movement in the music maybe some synth will will come in later in life but right now no no keyboard it, it could be tasteful <laughs> add to the juiciness right on man so what do you guys have coming up i know we talked uh, out back that you have uh three singles out currently that can be streamed but uh do you have anything upcoming that you're really excited about we got a music video dropping soon um, and an album. Hopefully we'll get that out soon. Yeah, we, uh, we have like seven songs, seven, eight songs we're trying to put out. Uh, we're making a date now. Um, we also have a few gigs coming up in May, the 17th and the 18th. Um, but definitely the, the album and the music video, um, it's, it's, it's cool. Uh, we just got to put it out there. We are working on it right now. The video is for Wait, by the way. I'm excited to see that because you guys are pretty fun. I've seen you, know, you, you dress up... Uh, the Halloween thing, I think you guys were like the Scooby <laughs> yeah. thing, which worked really well for your whole group. But, you know, especially when you go out of the venues you're at, um, I know we had talked. It's usually sometimes a little bit smaller, you know, and you really engage the crowd. I noticed you have some, some fans that will definitely come and, and dance with you guys and stuff like that. Um, yeah, definitely the Banana Records, great place. Small and it's compact. You can get everybody into one spot. It's a great place. Yeah, you got a lot of sound. I mean, you made it into here pretty pretty good. We're able to all fit you in there. Even the bass player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the drummer in the back, though, so, I mean, slight disrespect. <laughs> the third disrespect. <laughs> so when it comes to your guys' songwriting, we've uh, had different bands say different things. Do you guys like to come up with lyrics first and then create a melody to it, or is it the other way around? Are you, like, coming up with the music part of it and then he's coming in and filling in the lyrics afterwards? It's, it's kind of... Um, one of us will come with a riff, and we'll just start jamming over that. 
Meanwhile, he's brainstorming lyrics, and then like the song just comes together after that. Yeah, it definitely, definitely starts yeah. with the riff. Uh, so the one of these two, yeah. um, just an idea. Someone puts out an idea, then lyrics upon that, and then we decide if we like it or not. And most of the time we like it, but also if we don't, we'll just like scrap it. And I don't know. We'll sometimes play it at like a gig or something, but um, sometimes. I don't know. It's been fun to see you guys progress. It was probably about like a year ago when, when we were first playing at the Orpheum where I'd met you guys initially. And what's interesting, too, is that you have a very, like, fun, upbeat style of music, but it's also very heavy at certain points because some of these venues around here, it is, like, heavy metal stuff, and you are with other bands that are screaming really hard, which is cool. And but that's, Again, I think that's great that you're kind of able to move in between different venues, and I'm excited to see... What type of music you guys come up with in the in the future? Yeah, d d there's definitely screaming sometimes with the energy, but still want like people to dance around or feel like that they they can and dance to the music. There's some darkness in the music too. You know, we have happy and, and joyful songs, but we also have some dark ones. You know, and uh, it's kind of versatility, you know, in our music. Yeah, there was that one song you were playing, and you were getting into some some pretty good screams there, and uh, there's a lot of emotion. As far as your gear and stuff too, it was a pretty simple setup. Most of you guys just had a pedal board plugged into our, our PA here. Do you uh, usually switch other gear? Or are you pretty pretty much set in, in what you guys like to play here? Yeah, we use this plus our own amps. That's about it. That's cool. I respect it. And I do like the black and white bass. That's, that's tasteful. So for people that are trying to follow you guys, where's the best way to link up with you, see what's coming up, watch this new upcoming video, hear Instagram. your new album? Instagram. Instagram. The Gram. The Gram. And it's just Hibiscus at Instagram? Or? It's a Hibiscus band with two Ds. Two Ds. Isn't the same thing on Facebook? Double the phone. And Facebook, if you have Facebook. You can find our link tree with all the links to Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music there, and that's where you can stream our music. Well, thanks, everybody. You see a show, go support your, your local bands. Support. Uh, Peace. Pop out. Peace.